Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Thomas and I'm back with another update regarding my game Barbarian Battle Quest, which you are staring at. Uh, first I want to start off really quick by just saying thank you to all the great people on the um, game dev Reddit. You guys have been really awesome and I like had ten times the views on my last video after uploading it to Reddit, so I really appreciate how supportive everyone is there. And uh, I'm definitely going to post it again, hopefully it won't be too frequent an update for for Reddit, but everybody seemed very nice on that Reddit, and I really appreciate it. So, uh, you'll notice the most obvious thing that I've changed with my game here are these hearts. This is actually the life meter that I created. So you'll see when the bad guys come out and get stabby on me, I will actually flash and take damage, and the meter goes down, and if I take too much damage, I'm dead. So that's uh, pretty neat to me because it actually lets me say it's a game, because you can lose it. I guess there's no way to win it right now, but that's okay. So I adjusted that pixel death effect, so when people die, you can see the pixels all fade out at a, on a different timer. They don't all just disappear at once. They, they phase out with each pixel having a random lifespan. And they also don't go at funky levels and go too far. They, they just kind of nicely blow up and dissipate in their own little group. And I might tweak that if everybody gives me some feedback that they don't like the way it looks because I want to make sure it's really comfortable and looks really good and um, and that's what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to ensure that you can sit there and fight one bad guy and the game feels good and looks good and, and flows really well and is a lot of fun. Once I do that I don't have a problem expanding the gameplay elements to include additional things. So uh, I made a couple of changes with the actual gameplay toward that end one is when you run, you don't go up and down as fast as you do. Um, how can I explain that? Your horizontal travel is this fast, but your vertical travel is slower because it just looked like in the perspective it made more sense. And the other way, it felt like you were zipping all around the screen and just going anywhere you wanted really, really fast, and it just didn't feel right. I think a little limitation on the speed limit helped uh, the feeling to improve. Also, you can't run and attack at the same time. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking Golden Axe. That's that's the that's the game that I'm using as my inspiration for how the gameplay should feel, because that's the closest thing I could think of right now. So there's no attack while you run right now, which I may add something, but for now it's just a simple attack. I'm gonna change the animation of that to like a thrust instead of a a, a swing, like like baseball. Uh, and then if you hold the button down, you'll actually charge up your attack, and you can let it go. So I think I want to make the bad guys take a couple of hits, that way there's a point to actually charging up this attack. But it's there. And also, I created this uh, quick... This is just like a placeholder. I'm probably going to try to clean this up, but it still works okay. I created this um, dodge, so if you right-click, the character will dodge. So you can use that, because normally the bad guy will run up and, and poke you, but if you, if you can dodge in time, you're okay. So it's kind of a helpful little neat thing and I thought for the the theme of the barbarian it would make a little more sense to jump out of the way really nimble like in the old Robert E. Howard Conan stories you know instead of sitting there and actually blocking and taking the attack you know Conan would jump out of the way with his cat-like speed so that's what I decided to have the bad guys do um, I think those are all the updates now I've been in this process of tweaking and it's a little more slow going than creating a bunch of new features that you have a big list of. Uh, this is stuff that's sort of slow and it's not like I have a document that says do this, do this, and do that. It's a thing where I play test, I have the wife play it and see what she thinks and I see what people online think and I just sort of slowly iterate and keep refining the experience and adding or removing things until I get to a point that feels fun when you're fighting one bad guy. But I like what I've come up with so far because once the wizards start coming in and shooting fireballs at you and summoning, you know, wraiths, it's going to be neat because this fireball will come blow up and you'll have to jump out of the way like this and you'll be fighting these guys and I'm going to add them some AI so they kind of do an Assassin's Creed type thing where they'll stand around you and then decide to sort of come in, not one at a time, but, you know, rather than all of them immediately just chasing you right in your face, I think it would make a little more sense that way. So that's what I've done. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to finish this game, and I feel good because I feel like I'm most of the way through. So I guess my persistence is paying off, and I'm glad I didn't pick too big a project this time. So thank you for watching. Make sure you keep in touch via, via Twitter. 
Um, I really enjoy using Twitter because I like to hear from other people that are working on projects like this and sort of keep each other motivated and, and find out what's up. So I'm Retro Thomas on Twitter and I also have links to um, the Facebook page I made and Google Plus and stuff like that. So thank you for watching. Take it easy.